who have issued um, bonds that have been granted in one way or another. I do want to um, piggyback on something that Joe said, because way back when, when I was at HFA, we would segregate a certain amount of our mortgage loans that were specifically made to buyers that were under 80% of median income. And we did see CRA buyers coming to the table and paying through the market for that amount of bonds. Um, so I think in general, people aren't expecting to see at least right this moment necessarily a pricing differential for um, those, but the hope is it broadens the market of people who are interested in buying bonds and maybe in tough markets, having an extra investor at the table might help you out. Um, sure. And I'd be curious to hear if there's more of those CRA buyers still out there doing what we had seen. All right. So what are we watching? Oh. I'm going to give away a clue right now. I meant to tell you right in the beginning that this morning when I was flipping through my slides, I found a typo, and that's why I have that apple up here. It's the prize for the first person to identify the typo, and obviously if it's I mention it now, it's because the typo is on the slide. So sorry about that, but if anyone wants an apple, <laughs> shout it out right now, or you can... Oh, yep. you got it! Come up and get your empty apple. <laughs> Yay! Eagle eye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Could you repeat it, Mary? What was it? Uh, there's two eyes and two extra. There's an extra eye in driving. Uh, I saw it this morning and it's making me crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's <laughs> So, what are the trends we're watching? We've mentioned some of them already demographic trends, driving demand for first time home buyers, and what that has been doing to pricing, housing affordability, and the challenges that they might, that might, um, produce over the next year or so. Um, loan forbearance is starting to roll off. There's been streamlined loan mod um, provisions put in place by FHA, so there are borrowers um, who are seeing immediate assistance and being able to resume making their payments. And for those um, who aren't, there is the Homeowners Assistance Fund and perhaps even the Build Back Better program, which um, could provide more assistance on a going forward basis. I want to leave you with three key takeaways. Um, we expect ratings to remain stable and continue to perform at their current levels. Um, we think the near-term pressures um, will create some challenges, but nothing that's going to move the dial on ratings. And we do think the federal assistance has and will continue to be a credit positive. And if you have any questions on this or any other credit issues, please reach out to me or anyone else on the housing team at SP. Thank you.